Hello and welcome to 3 Dot TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. South Korea's ruling party, the People's Power Party, officially proposed to delay the implementation of the country's tax on crypto trading profits. On July 12th, the party submitted proposal and noted that current sentiment towards crypto assets is deteriorating. The description stated that rapidly imposing taxes on virtual assets is not advisable at this time. Furthermore, the proposal argued that with crypto having higher risk than stocks, investors are expected to leave the market if income tax is also imposed. The taxation on cryptocurrency gains was originally set to take effect on Jan 1, 2025. However, if the proposal is approved, the implementation of this tax will be postponed until Jan 1, 2028. After a recent court ruling in the United States state of Illinois that classified Bitcoin and Ether as commodities, Crypto industry stakeholders in Nigeria are urging the country's SEC to adopt a similar approach in its regulatory framework. Well, the call for clarity and proper classification comes as cryptocurrencies play an increasingly significant role in global financial landscape. Lucky Uwakwe, chairman of the Blockchain Industry Coordinating Committee of Nigeria, spoke to Cointelegraph about the importance of clearly defining crypto assets. Well, according to him, this approach would provide creators with clear guidelines on where to seek regulation. However, in Nigeria, the Commodity Board has traditionally focused on physical commodities such as cash crops and agricultural products, showing little public interest in digital commodities to date. The hackers behind the $305 million cryptocurrency exchange DMM Bitcoin hack in May have reportedly laundered more than $35 million at an online marketplace in Cambodia so far this month. According to cryptocurrency sleuth Zach XPT, the funds have been laundered to Yoin Guarantee, which operates in Cambodia and has been linked to the nation's ruling Han family, blockchain forensics firm Elliptic said in a July 10 post. Well, the marketplace has transacted $11 billion worth of crypto from hacks, big butchering scams and other exploits, according to Elliptic. It is suspected that Lazarus Group is behind the hack due to similarities in laundering techniques and off-chain indicators, said, said Zach XBT. Spain is reveling in the UEFA 2024 soccer championship victory, but the national team's official cryptocurrency, the Spain national fan token, is unenthused. On Sunday, Spain defeated England in the finals of UEFA tournament, clinching a record fourth European championship title as England's decade-long wait for a major tournament with continued. Still, uh, the SNFT token has dropped by 20% to $0.024 in the past 24 hours and had a market cap of $565,000, according to CoinGecko. Meanwhile, leading fan tokens like the Paris Saint, German fan and FC Barcelona fan tokens traded 2% to 4% higher alongside a renewed upswing in market leader Bitcoin's price. Well, the national team launched the SNFT token in 2021 in partnership with Royal Spanish Football Federation and the Turkish blockchain platform Bitsy. The token aims to enhance fan engagement and deliver a privileged experience for sport enthusiasts and investors. SNFT's price swoon like to represents a sell the fact loss and price surge just over 70% to $0.03845 in the three days leading up the final. And now let's go to Shikha Singh to get an update on buzzing coins of the day. The Securities and Futures Commission of Hong Kong has issued alerts against seven crypto trading platforms for illegally operating in the region without operational licenses, where the SFC manages public records of all registered, unregistered and illegal crypto trading entities to reduce risks related to scams and fraud. Well, the alert list which highlights exchanges that are either unlicensed or display false association with Hong Kong saw the addition of seven exchanges on July 5. The SFC has been maintaining the alert list since Jan 2020 and currently has 39 entries. Well, in 2024 alone, 28 cryptocurrency exchanges were flagged. The floor price of original Trump digital trading cards has reached an all-time high following a failed assassination attempt against the former US president. The non-fungible token collectibles on Ethereum sidechain scaling solution Polygon rose to an all-time high of 933 Matic according to data collected from multiple NFT marketplaces. However, this has since cooled with its floor price hovering around 762 Matic according to NFT marketplace Magic Eden. The second series of Trump digital trading cards also rose 20% to 163 Matic. 
Argentina has the highest crypto adoption rate in the Western Hemisphere with 2.5 million of 130 million users on top crypto exchanges being Argentinians. The rising inflation of local currency, peso and complex access to the dollar have been the primary drivers behind the adoption of crypto assets primarily USDT. Argentina leads Latin America in raw transaction volume, reaching approximately $85.4 billion by July 2023. Now, unlike many other investors who buy crypto assets like Bitcoin, primarily for gains, Argentinians typically purchase stable coins like USDT and synthetic dollars, which have a market value of $112 billion. The weakening currency has led Argentinians to look for alternatives, including buying dollars from black markets, which offer unfair prices, risks of robbery and fake currency. Stablecoins have seemed like a perfect escape for Argentinians due to their ideal exposure to the dollar and ease of access. Solana has seen a 4% increase in the past 24 hours due to the failed assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. The Solana meme coins have outperformed the network's native token by a wide margin. Popular meme coin Billy has sold 44%, extending its lead as the largest pub.fund created token by market cap. Mitri in second place trails behind at $100 million. Mitri has also posted impressive gains, leaping 28% over the past 24 hours. Now, other Solana meme coins have also outperformed Seoul, with tokens like Popcat jumping 27.6%. Landfall Flying 13.5% and Kika Chad up 12.1%. Dog with Had up 3.1% and Bong 2.4%. Well, the rally comes after the German government emptied its wallets after sending billions worth of Bitcoin to exchanges and market makers. The failed assassination attempt to on uh, Trump appears to have bolstered his election bid and crypto markets have jumped accordingly. CoinShares reported a significant inflow into Ethereum, Bitcoin and other altcoins last week, indicating a positive market sentiment despite recent price weaknesses. Bitcoin led the charge with $1.35 billion in inflows, marking one of its most substantial weekly inflows. Short Bitcoin products saw the largest weekly outflows since April, with investors pulling out $8.6 million. Ethereum followed with $72 million in inflows, the highest since March are attributed to the anticipated approval of a spot Ethereum ETF in the US. Other altcoins also saw notable inflows with Solana, Avalanche, Chainlink and XRP receiving $4.4 million, $2 million, $1.3 million and $1 million respectively. The US dominated regional inflows contributing $1.3 billion last week. Skilled AI and AI startup founded in May 2023, a competitor to OpenAI and is led by Carnegie Mellon University professors Abhinav Gupta and Deepak Patak. Well, Skilled AI's robot brain is also supposed to perform random tasks without training, similar to how living organisms like humans have gained the ability to move to perform tasks. With $300 million in funding from big venture capitalists like Jeff Bezos and SoftBank, Skilled AI aims to build a first robot brain pushing the AI industry to another level. The company is working on a general purpose robot brain and an AI model that can be used in any robot to perform complex tasks for industries in other locations. The robot brain will be universal and eliminating the need for custom robot software which is expensive. That's all in the bulletin today. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more on such updates and market news, please log on to our website, www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code.